I am going to explain how to do TRX suspension training today. So using suspension training is very versatile. You can put, basically put it anywhere you want and hang it up anywhere you want. And it utilizes your own body weight in order to enhance performance and function ability. Okay, so the main thing to remember whenever you're doing any TRX exercise is to keep your core tight. When you're doing that, then you're able to isolate the specific muscle that you're using for each exercise. Another thing too is TRX can be used for beginners to advanced, basically anyone. The main thing is the angle that you're doing the exercise at. So if you start at a, a taller angle, then you're, it's going to be a lot easier. Whereas if your angle is a lot smaller, like down here, it's going to be a lot harder. So the first thing we're going to do is a reverse fly. So I'm going to set my angle. I'm going to make sure that I keep my body really tight and really straight. So my body is going to be almost like a board. So that's how straight it's going to be. So you're just going to open up your arms nice and straight and bring it straight back. And notice too that my body is staying straight and I'm not dropping my hips back at all. Whereas if I was going up like that and then back down, that wouldn't be utilizing the correct muscles. So keeping that core tight, nice and straight, pulling it out and then pushing it back. So the next one we're going to do is a row which utilizes your back muscles. So you're going to keep your shoulders back as you bring yourself up, core is nice and tight and you're squeezing your shoulder blades together really tightly and then straight back. So with a lot of these exercises, they're very versatile. So you can do a single arm where you're just going to drop one, hold your hand back, and then pull up. So again, if that's really hard and you feel your body not being straight, you can put your ankle up a little bit more and then pull up. If you want to make things a little bit harder, you can increase that ankle or decrease that ankle and go down here. The next exercise we're going to do are the bicep curls. So the main thing to remember with this one is keeping, again, keeping your core tight. And then when you're curling up, you're just going to lift your elbows up higher and then bring them back down. Again, if you want to make it harder, make that angle smaller, bring it up and all the way down. So this exercise is called the tricep extension, which is working the back of your arms. So the main thing with this one, again, keeping your core tight, extending your arms out and back in. The angle of your shoulder does not change. The only thing that is moving is your elbows. This exercise is called a chest press, and it could be just another variation of a push-up. hold it right here or you can make it a little bit harder and do dips. You can just do a regular push-up and then if you want to make it harder you can add in a pike. This one you can just hold it in a plank or if you want to make it harder you can draw your legs all the way into your chest and then go side to side. and just do a push-up and a pike while you're suspended in the air. This next set of exercises is going to be for your lower body. So the first thing we're going to do is a squat. The position I'm in right now is called a pistol squat, so it's just a single-legged squat. The main thing to remember with all squats is that you keep all your weight on your heels and that your knees do not go past your toes.
You can also add your knee to make it a little bit harder. Driving it straight up to the ceiling and then back down. Those are all the basics for different TRX exercises. If you would like to learn more, then we have a lot of personal trainers here who would love to work with you and show you more advanced things and just get you more challenged in what you're doing and learn a lot more about suspension training here in our personal training studio.